Tonight on Kitchen Nightmares, Gordon heads to Northern California OMG. to help a husband and wife team whose struggling restaurant is tearing their marriage apart. And his wife, Jen, is on the verge of a breakdown. <gasps> no one's looked in there? Seriously? Divorce. Anyone makes this face? Divorce. The restaurant's food is all over the place. <laughs> Can Chef Ramsay help this unhappy couple? Are you going to help us? I just don't feed it, though. <laughs> Or will their marriage and the restaurant be impossible to save? Just stop. No. Yes. No one's ever gonna want to come back here. <laughs> Wait, she looks like, what's her name? She looks like Amy from Parts and Rec, does she not? I'm not as stupid as everyone thinks. And the caviar mousse, what is in that? Caviar? <laughs> I'm not book smart, I'm street smart. <laughs> when what? business started to slow down, Jennifer convinced Saki that a remodel might help bring the people back. I was given no budget. They don't put price tags on things. I was just told to go pick out what you like, and now I'm realizing I have expensive taste. No. Oh, titties. I was planning on spending 350000 at the most. Jennifer wound up spending almost $950,000. And after I remodeled this place, it's more than just went down. <laughs> the pasta is overcooked. The food isn't consistently good. It's not fresh. Have a good night. Things just kind of went like this. It is dead. It's empty. That's not the way bar graphs go. Things just kind of went like this. She's not very street smart either. Dream all the restaurants. It's been really hard. Set the motherfucker on fire. Did you pay the insurance? Yeah, it's been hard on my relationship. Insurance fraud. What are you getting some free stuff for? Find your phone, get it. dude. My parents will go days without talking. It's always a fight. It irritates me that I put my heart on my sleeve and. Uh, it's I have no energy anymore to fight with you, you know that? <sighs> my parents are on the verge of divorce. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. And the main reason is because of this restaurant. Because your mom's a bitch. I feel like things are out of control. And I feel like we need help. After receiving an emotional letter from the owners, Chef Ramsay has decided to meet Jennifer at her home. Hi, Jen. Hi, come on in. Before heading over Please. to the restaurant. Uh, I'm nervous. You're nervous? Why are you nervous? Um, because when... Why is he at her house? What is he gonna go? Is he gonna cuck Saki? Is Saki about to get cucked? I asked you over. I didn't think he'd actually come. I can't believe White Oprah's sitting in my living room. Oh, White Oprah is about to cuck you. Or no, not about to cuck your husband. Um, how did all this start? It started because I was bartending at the right. restaurant. is that how you mm -hmm. first met? That's how we met. Saki. Okay, great. Actually, I lied to get the job. But... How'd you manage that? He just asked if I had experience. I said yes, but he realized when I poured my first beer out of the tap that I didn't know what I was doing because it was foaming everywhere. And it was just... So he was the owner. You were obviously... Red flag number one. Shaking his uh, cocktails. Yeah. Clearly, he had a soft spot instantly. He did. Did you have a soft spot for him? No. No, why? She's ruthless, man. This guy, this guy just has to get a divorce. You drop the hoe, you make the dough. <laughs> He's not someone I would typically go for, or physical appearances. The age difference between both of you is what? 16 years. People think I'm a trophy wife or I'm gold digging. It was never like that. I mean, he wooed me for eight months. We went everywhere. We went to Hawaii. We went to shows. We went to concerts. And then I realized I loved him. They say a... I mean, no, that doesn't prove you're a gold digger. You love him after he takes you places. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It really is true. And he's my beast. Your relationship with Saki now, how's that changed? It's not doing good. So just help me understand that. It's very strange because we remodeled, we took a risk, and the remodel was, you know, a million bucks. Damn. How can you amass? such a large amount did you know the budget in terms i of didn't have a budget he told me to go pick out what i like that's like sending a lady into a designer shoe store with no yeah. price tags on the shoes red flag number two shifting the blame um right let's start off um i'll have a wonderful greek sampler mm -hmm. um crab louis please um 
and let's go for the filet mignon. Chef Ramsay is going to see the truth. Here we go. Thank you. Wow. You're welcome. This is the Greek sampler. <coughs> that is ghastly. She looks gross. Hey. If you served it in the Greek islands, they throw you overboard. And, and Saki, where are you from in Greece? I'm from, uh, uh, from, uh, Kalamata. Kalamata? Kalamata, yeah. Okay. Where's where this crab, from. Louie? He's yeah. coming, yeah. He Saki him. is from Kalamata. He's a fry. So, the crab? The crab smells like fish. Like it shouldn't if it's fresh. It comes from the fish. See, tell him. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen out of the can. Crabs were caught from the sea, come on, and then you just put it in a can. You know, it's, 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 it's the same thing. How are you? Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Kind of tough, you know. It's hot back here. Huh? It's hot back here. It's a fucking kitchen, what do you expect? Teriyaki sauce is ghastly. It's like cough medicine. Okay, so he doesn't like the food. That's pretty obvious. He never he never likes the food. All right, now we're gonna see how he uh how Gordon can pull this restaurant together per se. Well, the lunch was horrific. The meeting with Chef Victor and Saki was even scarier. And so Chef Ramsay is hoping to get more clarity on the workings of the restaurant tonight at dinner service. It's clear to Gordon that spinner yarn is destroying a marriage. Jen, how are you? Hi. Where's Saki? But I spinning yard is not destroying the marriage. Gold digger. Play the song. Play it. It's copywritten? I don't care. Play it. Three seconds. I ain't saying she a gold There's no communication between you two. I'm gonna call as I see it. I just feel like I've had it though, because he's not gonna change. I have no authority. If you don't let me make a decision. He let you buy everything you wanted for the restaurant. The bald guy is such a simp. You just you drop her. Drop her like a bad habit. It's not that hard. Okay, it's a divorce. You might lose some money, but you're already like what, twelve million dollars in debt? Oh, I can't do this. Come here, come here. Look at this. That is gnarly. Look how easy it is. Look. Hold the knife. No, no, no. Look at it. Too much CSI. I can't do this. Open your eyes when you can. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh, we'll let go of it. She's threatened his life. Little one, grab it, grab it, that would like you. Fucking hell. Suck it. Okay. Oh my god. Please. Why can't you cut it? It's a, it's just a piece of meat. It's a cow. But he hopes to take some of the pressure off the kitchen. Okay, come on, guys, let's go. However, this plan relies on Jennifer not being a bitch. He's oh. overcoming her feet. Okay, Jen, big deep breath. Let's go. You all right? You look a bit nervous. Do you want to swap places with Michaela and I'll get her to slice it? No. No. Come on. Get it going. Jen. What? <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. Fuck. <laughs> Why are you smiling, bro? I'm not taking that. Personally, I would not take that. All right. <laughs> oh my god. She's freaking out because she can't handle serving fatty meat. She's gonna have to deal with it. Two minutes. Where am I going? What table? Really? What am I doing? Prime ribs getting cold. Let's go. You're cutting the fucking meme. What are you talking about? We went over this and practiced there, Jen. Hey, guys, it's showtime. This is going to be an interesting night. Who's having the prime rib tonight? You guys? Okay. <laughs> That's prime rib, motherfucker. Oh, you can't. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. No, come on, Jen. I never cut meat before a chef. No, stop there. That's, forget that now. That's gone. Okay. We start again. We serve them at our best. Nothing but our best. He thinks I was being stupid, but I really didn't know how to cut the meat or how to handle it or what the rules were. You're not being stupid. What are you being, smart? Is that a tactical decision right there? We have another prime I hate meat. Tell me, it's <laughs> Oh, there you god. go. Can we get the door? Every table, own it. And smile, Jen. Oh my god. I used to like him. I don't anymore. How is everything oh so far tonight, guys? Good. Good? All right. Good to hear. Oh, try to entertain them. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. Nicely. Not like you're about to stab Saki. There you go. <laughs> god bless America. Wow. 
into the Jesus. cartwheel. Jesus! <laughs> Practice or something beforehand. Don't wing it. Smile. <laughs> Jen, turn around. Don't walk backwards into a door. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <sighs> Jen! I need a counter for how many times she's fucking... <sighs> I want to do whatever it takes. I took a one second time out, I sucked it up, got my head back in the game, went back out there. Are you guys ready? I think so. <laughs> Would you like the horseradish on the side or on the meat? Do you have a preference? On the side is just fine. On the side, you got it. Okay, so there you- All of a sudden, she can just do it perfectly now. We're gonna see how these guys are actually now. We're gonna see where they're off right now. Uh, it's open. There's no fucking way. Damn. Round of applause. Gordon kept it open, baby. He saved the restaurant. He actually lived up to the name. Most of the time, it's like a 90% chance. Who is texting me? They usually close, so. I'd say overall, like, success, even though she's kind of a gold digger, I still think, but. They're still married? There's no fucking way. You know what, Jen? I'd like to apologize. Apparently, I guess you aren't a gold digger. Well, you did save the restaurant, so you're probably making money. If you are a gold digger, you're in it for the long game, and I respect that. Bond's gotta stick together. You don't wanna be like this. This is disgusting.